Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about the pharmacology of autoquites. So, the word autoquites is derived from two Greek words. One is autos, okay, autos, and another is echos, okay, another is echos. Autos, auto, it means self, and echos, it means healing substance or remedy. So then, what are Autoquites. Autoquites are the diverse substances. These are produced by a wide variety of cells in the body and they have intense biological activity. Uh, but generally these substances act locally. For example, within the inflammatory pockets at the site of synthesis and release. Okay. Therefore, they have also been called local hormones. Okay. So then what are autoquites? Autoquites are self remedies or healing substance and these are produced by uh, the these are produced by wide variety of cells in the body so for example this is the cell um, the different kinds of cells these are the wide varieties of the cells they produce these autoquites okay they produce autoquites and these autoquites they act locally that means these autoquites uh, they act locally or at the site of synthesis or release okay so they act at the site of synthesis or release because they act locally therefore they are also called local hormones okay they are also called local hormones they are called local hormones because these these substances they act locally what is the meaning of acting locally that means that these substances act at the site of synthesis and release okay they have also been called local hormones as I explained earlier so then how these substances differ from the hormones these substances differ from the hormones in two important ways first is hormones are produced by specific cells whereas autoquites they are produced by a diverse variety of cells and Hormones are transported transported through circulation to act on the distance target tissues. Okay, hormones are trans transported through the blood to act on the distant target tissue, but these autoquites they act on the side of synthesis and release. Therefore, they are called local hormones. Okay, and these are produced by wide variety of cells, whereas hormones are produced by specific cells. These are the differences between hormones and autoquites. Autoquites are involved in number of physiological and pathological processes, especially reaction to injury and immunological insult. Some autoquites, in addition, they serve as transmitters or modulators in the ner nervous system. Some autoquites may serve as transmitters or, or transmitters or modulators in the nervous system, but their role at many sites is not precisely known and a number of useful drugs act by modifying modifying their action or metabolism so the synopsis of these slides is that autoquites are self healing substances these are produced by wide varieties of the cells in the body they have intense biological activity but they act locally therefore they are also called local hormones they differ from Hormones in two ways. One, hormones are produced by specific cells, whereas autoquites are produced by diverse categories of cells. And autoquites act locally, whereas hormones are transported through blood to act on distant target tissues. Okay? So then, uh, what are the different types of autoquites? We have amine autoquites. Okay? Examples are histamine, 5 hydroxy tryptamine. We also have lipid der derived autoquites. Examples include prostaglandins, leukotrienes, platelet activating factor. And we also have pep peptide autoquites, that is, plasma kinins. Example, bradykinin, calidin, angiotensin. So, amine autoquites, lipid der derived autoquites, and peptide autoquites. These are the three main categories of autoquites. In addition to these, cytokines, interleukins, uh, TNF-alpha, and then several peptides like gastrin, somatostatin, and vasoactive intestinal peptide, and many others 
may be considered as auto -quiet.